She got this role out of pushing an agenda. And the agenda is, you can't call us racist. Olukemi Olufutun Adekoke Badenok. So let's talk about um, Madam Olukemi. Um, as you can tell by my accent, I am Nigerian. So, what should you expect? Yes, we won. Yes, it's the first black female leader of a UK party. It's an amazing achievement. And as a Nigerian as well, yes, we won. Racism has been destroyed. Racism has been destroyed, and we must never talk about racism ever, ever again. This shows that England have moved forward, and England are amazing, and you should never, ever mention racism ever again. Bro, look at America. Obama was president. Racism was, is, is cured. George Floyd? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 no, no. But look, I should, I should be happy. I should be happy. So don't talk about racism in England. You, they've just hired the first female black leader. So don't mention racism ever again. <sighs> I've been having long conversations with my family about this. And when I heard this news, I was like, see, so you have to understand something. English people, people are amongst the wisest, smartest people on planet Earth and the most cunning. You don't have an empire that had and still has so much influence over the world without being smart. England play 5D chess. They play 5D chess. As somebody who has been through school in England for a long time, that has really been behind enemy lines, that has really understood the English psyche. I know, I know English people very well. Also, one of my best friends I've known for over 20 years. Shout out to Bob, Boy Bill, fo fo football English. So, and I think, which is why I say to people like, look, see, some English people you meet could be very stock up, very conservative. Some English people you, you meet, shout out to my guy Bill, could be one of the most wisest, most forward thinking people you, you can meet, <laughs> you know? So, and which is why England have so much so influence because they're very wise and they're highly intelligent, and they play 5D chess. So what, you see, for the stupid, I told you, there's the 1% and the 99%. For the moronic 99%, you're jumping up and down, and you're saying a black woman who can think independently and doesn't think about all this woke politics, and this just shows you that we are now striving beyond talking of race and all this crap because she's a conservative leader who's thinking independently. She's, she's not um, amongst a monolith. That's for the moronic. For the 1% who are wised up and are clever, it's a game. It's a game played by the conservatives because the game is labor. Where is your black leader? Where is your Indian le leader? We gave you Rishi Sunak. But you didn't, though. That was because Liz Strauss was literally the worst leader of all time, serving like for 24 hours, and she was so garbage that she just had to panic, panic, and go Rishi Sunak. You didn't really elect him because you really wanted him. You just elected him out of panic. Olukemi, she got this role out of pushing an agenda. And the agenda is, you can't call us racist. Do you know why? Because this lady here says, and has been quoted as saying that, the UK's, most of the UK's wealth wasn't gotten through colonialism. So if she can puppet the kinds of stupid lies that hardcore conservatives want to promote, it's rings harder. So if a, if a white Englishman says, England that gets most of wealth through colonialism, then it's be like, ah, that. but if a black woman, a Nigerian says, 
that the UK didn't get most of its wealth through colonialism, surely it must ring true. This is a game by the conservatives. And what Olukeme doesn't fail to realize is you're being used as a pawn. You're being used as a puppet. So you can spout all of these hardcore right-wing extremist views. and But by you saying it, you can't use racism. So it's a perfect game. It's a perfect game. <laughs> and here's the thing. Here's the thing. Do the math. You know, you know, you know what that image is about. Black people have to be wise and know when you're being used. And you have to be very aware of the intelligence of white people. Like, like I said again, look, see, you have, to, you have to understand what I'm saying here. English, there is, there is a reason why English people ruled the world. There's a reason why the British Empire was so, so, so successful. It was so successful based off of the smarts and the intelligence using people against one another and perfectly orchestrating things. So, see, hate's all you want. You've got to give English people credit for what they built and the influence they had. Hate's all you want. It is what it is. <laughs> because it was kill or be killed. It's li it was literally the era of Gid. It was literally the era of Gid. Now, you messed up a lot of countries and you messed up my country for how knows how long. But it is, it is what it is. But what came out to realize is you really believe those people around you support you. You really believe that behind your back, they're not cracking jokes about you, cracking jokes about your race, about your skin color, about where you're from, but the fact that you're an immigrant and insulting your heritage. You really think that these people view you as really English? You really think that these people forget that you've really come from Nigeria and we use your African heritage to, to insult you when you now mess up? As I said again, I know English people very, very well. They're highly, highly intelligent people that play 5D chess. Because the unfortunate thing for uh, Ms. Olukemi is you feel that this is a great victory for you. And you feel that you're now making strides for black people. And you now feel that you this is this is something historic. When it's not, you're being used. And the scary thing is that you don't realize you're being used. <laughs> That's that is the worrying thing. See, this is what I always say, because I, I just look at images and pictures. I just saw an image of when she won. And it's and it's a, it's a, it's a situation that many people, many black people can kind of combine with. Always be wary when you're the only black person in the room. I'll say that again. Always be wary when you are the only black person in the room. Always be wary. Just, that's what I'm saying. Always be, be, be wary. I truly fear as to what's 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 going to happen over the sub subsequent weeks. I truly fear, but I just want to be very clear here. And this this is why I need this just to put out this video. Don't you dare make this thing that is like a victory for me, a victory for Nigeria. Don't you dare make me champion this. <laughs> so because I think that is the kind of mistake that the conservatives think that think think that they want to make where. People like me will be like, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of what you've done. The first black, the first black. This is such an amazing achievement by a Nigerian. And because again, no, please, please, again, let me say this right now. I'm not, I am not hardcore left. I'm not hardcore right. My politics and my policies are a mixture. I have conservative views. I have liberal views. So this isn't about politics. No, it's not. It's not. This is beyond just politics. So this is not about, oh, because I'm against conservative views. I'm, no, 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 no. I told you. I'm not going to tell you how I voted for. Last election, I didn't vote conservative. I didn't vote labor. I voted for neither of those two. So it's not about politics. But this is specifically about an individual 
who is being used for a particular agenda, an individual who has been used as a puppet, an individual who is being used to show that we can't be racist if these things are being said by this certain individual. And the powers that be pick particular individuals that they know that they can use, but the mistake they make is, shout out to Kendrick Lamar, not like us. <laughs> they may share the same skin tone. They may have a similar name, come from a similar background. That doesn't mean they're like us. And that doesn't mean that we have to support them. So not all skin folk are kin folk. Not all skin folk are kin folk. So for Olukemi, I just, you may never see this video, but if you somehow do, if you're scrolling through YouTube, look at me, open your eyes and be very, very aware of what you're being used for and realize the truth and the reality that this is a game and you are a, you are literally just a piece being used in 5D chess. They don't like you. They'll never really like you. They'll never support you. And yes, they are cracking racist insults and racist jokes behind your back. Trust me on this. I will bet anything you want that these are facts I'm speaking.